विवेक भैया प्लीज मुझे आई आई टी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री कट ऑफ बता दो विल आई गेट एनी आइजर और नॉट इन दिस होल वर्ल्ड ऑनली यू कैन हेल्प मी भैया ऑनली यू कैन हेल्प मी भैया So finally you have got your dream Iser. We have built this one platform where all the Iser students can come together and we will guide future Iser aspirants. Hey, you also got your dream Iser, right? Which Iser you got? Yes, I have got Iser Pune. Iser Pune. Wow, you should also come and join our Why? platform. Where are you, man? To help other students. What are you doing? Hey, huh? stupid fellow. Okay anyways jokes apart hi everyone in this video i will tell you the prediction for iit 2023 cut off now all of you know that for last two years our prediction has been very very accurate for more than 95% accuracy right so with that experience and we have also collected lot of data from all of you thanks to you for sharing your you know insights so we have compared the data of 2022 and 2023 here are some of the graph you can see uh, all these data i will put in the telegram channel so you can join our channel and see what the response of all of you now coming to the point if we compare the difficulty level from 2022 iit 2022 to iit 2023 as you can see in this overall data here for iit 2022 overall you see difficulty level was 6.74 out of 10 but for 2023 the difficulty level was 6.26 so overall the paper was actually a bit easier than iit 2022 paper and it was easy to moderate level from what data we have got from all of you and second there have been increase in the registrations right the biggest factors for increase in the registration of iit 2023 are iic bangalore taking for its 4 year bs uh, program and iit madras taking for its 4 year bs medical science and engineering program a lot of students i have met on the exam center have applied because of iit madras or because of iic bangalore so the number of registration has gone really really up so since paper was easier and number two because of iic bangalore and iit madras also number of registrations have increased so we think that the cut off marks are obviously going to go a bit higher than iit 2022 now let me tell you for each of the category what is the minimum marks you need to get in order to get any of the iser i am not telling this for 1 2 3 4 rounds of the counseling i am saying that if you get this many marks you have very high chances that you will get into any of the isers now as you can see in the data here for general category if you get 100 to 100 at 10 OBC 75 to 85, EWS 75 to 85, SC 55 to 65, ST 30 to 40 marks. So if you are getting this much marks in IT 2023, you have very high chances of getting any of the ISERs by the end of the counselling. Okay? Subscribe, कर दो भाई. Now let me tell you for various category and various ISERs, even for SC Bangalore and IIT Madras. As you can see in the table here. For IC Bangalore, if you are getting 170 to 200 for general, EWS 140 to 160, OBC NCL 140 to 160, SC 100 to 120, SC 100 to 120, ST 80 to 100 marks. Then you should be able to get IC Bangalore. For Pune, 160 to 100 for general, EWS 120 to 140, OBC NCL 120 to 140, and so on. Okay. So for all the other ISERs, IIT Madras, you can see the data here. Let me see for general category. So Pune, I already told you, Madras, you need to get 150 to 170 in general category. Kolkata 140 to 160, Mohali 110 to 130, and finally, if you go till Barhampur, so if you are in general category, you should get 100 to 110 marks. Then you will be able to get ISER Barhampur by the end of the counselling. So I hope this data was useful to all of you. Please like this video right now. If you have any other questions, problems, write in the comments below or message me personally in the Sai Astra app. Okay, with that all the best. I hope you get your dream institute. Jai Hind and subscribe कर देना. ठीक है. बहुत ही गर्मी है. कोई भी सपना साकार करने के लिए सबसे जरूरी है सही कोच का होना. चुनिए Sai Astra और करें अपने IIT and NEST का सपना साकार. Download the app now.